A majority of adults age 50 to 65 years were willing to undergo screening for hepatitis C in conjunction with screening colonoscopies. The data were presented at the annual meeting of the American College of Gastroenterology. So the study by Dr. Sears from the Scott and White Clinic addressed a very important topic, which is how do we screen more of the individuals who are at risk for hepatitis C? Right now, the CDC estimates there are approximately 4 million infected individuals in the United States with chronic hepatitis C, but at the present time, perhaps a quarter of individuals have been diagnosed, leaving a huge reservoir of individuals out there who don't know that they have chronic hepatitis C. The demographics of this un undiagnosed population, actually, is that they are primarily from the baby boomer generation. So Dr. Sears and her colleagues took advantage of the recommendation that people over the age of 50 should get a screening colonoscopy. And what they did was they screened 500 consecutive individuals for chronic hepatitis C at the time of screening colonoscopy by asking about risk factors and whether or not that they would consent for hepatitis C testing. And of these 500 individuals that they approached, 376 individuals consented to be tested. The risk factors that they found were similar, and about a third of individuals, 36%, had identified risk factors. They were able to diagnose in this group of 376 individuals four new cases, or about 1% of the individuals that had new cases of anti-hepatitis C, but 17% of individuals, or excuse me, 17 individuals, already had chronic hepatitis C as a diagnosis. Uh, all the individuals who had antibodies that were detected consented to polymerase chain or PCR testing. And this study is important because we need to diagnose more individuals. The, it's estimated that there are 500,000 individuals out there at least with hepatitis C and advanced liver disease that is cirrhosis right now. And that's a huge reservoir of individuals that, as they develop cirrhosis and decompensate, are going to consume substantial resources in our healthcare system, be it for care of end-stage liver disease or even later orthotopic liver transplant. And therapies for hepatitis C have markedly improved this year with the introduction of chalapavir and bisepavir addition to peginiferon and ribavirin for genotype 1, such that overall 70% of individuals are, can be successfully treated who have chronic hepatitis C now. And so this effort, along with what we hope are other efforts and strategies to identify this baby boomer generation, which is the largest demographic that has hepatitis C, is important and hopefully we'll see more efforts similar to this one to try and identify these people who are yet undiagnosed with hepatitis C.